Here's an important piece. You chose it to happen. You had a hand in that, and until you can accept this, take responsibility for it, for your own life and all that's in it, your understanding won't be full, or it can't be. I'll pause here a moment to let that sink in. I know it's deep. There are still so many of us who haven't shirked and shrugged off the programming that makes everyone blame. Outside of the self, look for causes, for reasons for things, never within. Well, let's pause here. Let's recall how all is one. You're that one. You know what you're doing, dears, just on a higher level than this one, that's all. You brought this whole story of your life about, you know. You really do. Call to mind NDEs you've heard of, those near-death experiences, or experienced yourself, where you get to stand back from things, see greater picture. You are a bigger part of this thing than the controllers, the Illuminati, want you to know. They can't have you knowing how much a controlling part you play. No, that would bust their bubble of seeming control. For they don't control us. No, not really. It's only a seeming, my dears. Yes, I know, it seems very real. Very terrible, it's true. And that's real in its own way. Okay, I'm stopping here. If I can't get you back to heart, there's no use continuing on. Just let mine go, okay? Let it think its thoughts. You just don't have to go there to pay any attention to that. Now, I know it may be shocking, but about 99% of your opinions are wrong. I don't care who you are. It just works like that here in 3D. Yeah, and that means me too. We do the best we can, but we just can't see, not from this level. Not until we begin to enter and live from and abide in heart space. That's when the change comes. That makes the difference, but the hardest thing is to let go of the mind, for you've identified with that darn thing. Think it's you. And mind's freaking out. Doesn't like all this newness. Pulls the whole rug quite out, out from under its feet. Well, my dears, mind doesn't have any feet. Ha! So that's quite okay, you see. Let mind go. Let it spin out a bit. That's a part of this trip that you take here with me. You'll spend a certain amount of time spinning out, getting dizzy that way. It's okay. Just relax. Settle down into heart space. Let go. Okay, now, where were we? I feel you back coming back with me, so... Just lost my place. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's move on. How does something ascend day to day? Yes, so first let's deal with this Jesus thing quickly. That was a massive culmination, okay? That was the final act of the play. Much bigger than a Trecina. We're not there yet, so just let that go. Even if you don't believe he existed, that's okay too. For the ascension is real anyway. One can convert one's actual body to light. That's what that is. Nothing left to bury then. So moving on. As you transcend things by working through things, your atoms are ascending into light. Bet you didn't know that. You're ascending daily, if your intent is set to the light to go home, enter that. That's what's happening. Quote, unquote, I die daily. 
takes on suddenly new meaning, quite literally. Atoms arising right out of 3D. That's you and that's me. Okay, gone on long enough here. Food to ponder, not think on. Enough. Till later then, be in heart, friends. Give mind a break and give yourself a break too from the mind. It'll be okay, just relax. You are loved, you are loved in real fact. You are loved.